This, hands down, is the best way to never be broke again. Become a creator. And when I use the word creator, I'm not saying you have to become a writer or that you have to do videos or create online courses. No, there are many different forms of creators. There are people who create art. There are people who will take an old car and give it a new paint job and redo the upholstery and rebrand that car. Those are creators. When you develop creative energy, you offer the world something that currently isn't there or a duplication of something that's desired or put your spin on it. But by becoming a creator, you bring new energy to the table. And with new energy comes new results. And with results comes money. Now, the path of the creator is not easy. In the beginning, it will be rocky, arduous, long, embarrassing, and hard. Very, very hard. But it's supposed to be because when you become a creator, not only are you creating something new, you're creating a new you as well because you have to get better. You have to groom and deepen your apprenticeship on whatever you're creating. The more that you practice your art and develop your craft, the more creative you can be. The more creative you can be, the more results that you get, the more results that you get, the more money that you make. Now, how does one go about being a creator? You must sit back and give yourself permission to be a creator. When you were a child, you were a creator. You had a great imagination. You had artwork probably on the walls, hopefully on the sheet of paper. You were always creating. Your mind was wide open. Now you have the ability to reactivate and ignite that energy to make money. This is the path and this is the process. Sit down and think of something that your community doesn't have or think of something that you can improve on in your community. That is creative energy. That is a different mindset. Then get started. Now, I know you're like, well, Glendon, I need a business loan. No, you don't. You need to get started. Well, Glendon, I need. No, you don't. You need to get started because let's say you want to open up a restaurant and you have absolutely no money. Now, what is the first and most critical thing that a restaurant must do? I know you didn't say it. Create good food. Number one. Number one reason that restaurants go out of business is people don't like the food and the service. The food has to be good. So you have no money, but you can go to the grocery store. So you have this goal of starting a restaurant and you want to serve a certain type of food. So what you do is you start preparing that food. And no, I don't want to hear about I need a kitchen and no, I need a business. No, you don't. You can prepare a meal for two or three people or four people. Have them test it out. If they like it, they can buy it from you and expand. Once you get to critical mass where you're serving a lot of people, then yes, you'll need to do this stuff. But in the beginning, no, you don't. That's just another crutch to keep you where you are. Well, I need this. No, no. Keep it small. Make your mistakes on a small level and build up. So now that you know you want to start a restaurant, you know what type of foods you want to serve. Now you've tested the food out on people who like, yeah, that's real good. Can I get some more? Now you work on pricing. While you're testing, you you learn the art of ingredients. It's like, well, it cost me $40 to create that meal for six people. Then you, you create your recipes. And with your recipes, you create price points. So now you're building an inventory of what you need, how much it's going to cost you, how much, it, how fast can you cook it. And then once you get into a commercial kitchen, these things will be altered because you're going to have better stuff to create your meals. Now, you went from nothing to serving a few people meals to getting people to buy your food to, hey, well, if all of you like it enough, why don't y'all do like a Kickstarter or research your local laws but typically most states you can offer stock to a lot i think up to 500 people once again do your research for your state and as long as these people are not buying your stock across state lines you could sell 500 shares 
where you are and diffuse the risk. So if you got 500 people who want to chip in on this restaurant, then they become share owners. Now, that's just one way to get it open. Now you're going like, but Glennon, I have all these shareholders. I don't own the restaurant. And you're absolutely right. Then what do you do? You, you get the restaurant up and running. You make it profitable. You take your share of the profits. Then you open up your own location in the ranch. You still have the main one with your stockholders. Keep it going. Then you have this other restaurant that's yours. See, this is the path to being a creator. Everything in there is a creative process from going from I have no restaurant to oh, I can cook. I can. It's all about being a creator. So that's one of the things that you could do. So I don't want to hear the stuff like I can't do it. I don't have any money. You're being a little lazy ass whiny bitch when you say things like that. People have died learning to read. People have died trying to vote. People have died for saying, hey, you know, I want to stay on my government land. And other things. But seriously, well, that was pretty serious. Become a creator and you'll get more results. You get more results. You get more money. 